We have a little bit better of an idea. Officials believe that there were some type of cleaning chemicals on the surface of that massive offshore rig that somehow ignited and caught fire. But now that the sun is up, the investigators are back out on the scene this morning to get a better idea of what happened, collecting evidence and looking for clues. The rig out in Lake Pontchartrain, it's north of New Orleans and owned by a company called Cloverly Oil Supply. Jefferson Parish officials there in Louisiana say it is used for storing oil until it's ready to be transferred back to land so there was no active drilling on site. Witnesses report this loud explosion just after 7 p.m. Then it took a few minutes to realize what on earth had happened. We were just sitting in my house and the whole entire house shook. Things fell off tables. Uh, it sounded like a bomb dropping, basically. Um, and just the whole house lit up with a big orange flash. And at first, we didn't know what it was. We were running around the house trying to figure out if something blew up at the house. And then when we looked out the windows, we realized it was out here. Officials on the ground just uh, having a press conference a few minutes ago updating us on the very latest. We are told that there are no immediate environmental concerns. That has been determined this morning. Eric, no sign of any oil sheen or anything like that on the water out there in Lake Pontchartrain. So they think that this is pretty well contained at uh, this point. Well, that's at least good news in this. Uh, one man, one worker right. still missing. Do we know how many people in all were on board that rig? Yeah, we know of at least eight that were working out on the rig at the time of the explosion. You said one person is still missing and officials in that morning press conference calling it still an active search and rescue operation. The Coast Guard, multiple agencies on scene, rescue choppers and boats have been scanning the area trying to locate that missing person. Seven others were seriously hurt and taken to area hospitals and police say that two remain in critical condition at this hour. They've also found a broken natural gas line out on the rig itself. They have now shut the gas off to that line, and they say that they have to just let the residual gas burn off until they can really get out on that rig, complete their full investigation, and so that it's safe for the people that are doing the investigating. So they're just going to have to let that fire burn itself out until they can really get busy out there and find out what exactly happened.